uh, in studio with us. We got someone who's been on the show a couple times already, and I'm excited to have him in person right here in Super Audio Network Studios. In My studio. man from Mariana Maravilla, Lil Train. Hey, what's up? Hey. Thank you for being here. What up, dog? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, man. Good to good to good to see you, homeboy. Finally, boy. finally. Yeah. I know, right? Long time coming, long time coming. But what you been up to, man? Oh, you know, just right here. I mean, you know, like I said, I came back from Laughlin with the fam and um enjoying life you know yeah yeah cool cool no, i just uh, yeah, i was, I was watching i was watching your uh, street tv interview with uh alonzo oh yeah you know that that day was so hot you know everybody was like they were like oh he looks so uncomfortable well nah it was like a hundred and something degrees and mm. shit you know what i mean and it's like we're right in no shade and shit it's just like hella hot so yeah it's just like and it's just like nah man i ain't uncomfortable it's my neighborhood there's yeah. nothing to be uncomfortable about but so you was, did it in your neighborhood yeah oh, okay it was like a two thing it was like we went from one one area, and then we went to another area later on. You know, he's gonna break it down to certain episodes. So he's gonna, he's gonna like, who knows how many parts he is, but mm. it's good. You'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice, man, nice. I like right. that you're sharing your, your story with the world. And was my was my interview with you the first one that you ever did, or did you do interviews? No, before yours, that? yours was oh, the nice. first. Well, I talk about the neighborhood. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you, you were, you were the next that, that put me out there. Oh, okay, that's good you to know, know, man. That's real good to know. And everybody out there knows why I do my show, but if you don't, I'll tell you again. I do my show because I want to change minds of young people who may be thinking about joining gangs. You know what I mean? Right. You may be 13, 14, 12, 11, whatever the case is, idolize these dudes and think that mm -hmm. this is a route you want to go down. And you're not really going to listen to me because I'm not a gangster. I've never been a gangster. Um, but you will listen to people like Lil Train. I is that uh, why – you want your voice to be heard uh, or i guess why 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 do you do these interviews well some of that and some 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 of that for for the most important part that's one that's one of the main reasons mm -hmm. because like i said you know a lot of them are going to look at me too because when you're 20 20 18 19 17 you know your neighborhood is all that matters and you could care less what i say because you know who cares you yeah. know you, i ain't from your neighborhood and i ain't you you know you ain't you ain't going through what i'm going through or vice versa mm -hmm. but I'm trying to help anybody that wants to be helped, you know, because at the end of the day, nobody wants to suffer in prison. That shit sucks. Yeah. That ain't for nobody. And I met the down, the downest homies that were in there, like, good-ass dudes, and they're just like, dude, go home. They're like, I remember when the first time there was a guy, he was from uh, he was from 60s, his name was Lumberjack. Okay. And he said, he was like, he's like, hey, Trin, he's like, how much time you got? I go, I go, damn, I got a lot of time. And he's like, how much? He goes, and I got 14 years. And he goes, he goes, what? He started laughing at me. He goes, time me. He goes, I'll give you 14 right now at this door. I go, what do you mean? He goes, I'll give you 14 years at this door. He's like, I got like 160 something years. I ain't never going home. And, it, and he made me think about it right then and there. Like, yeah. here I'm feeling sorry myself, feeling sorry for myself for 14 years when this dude has got like Damn. 100 and something. He mm. was like, he literally was clowning. He was like, literally, like, laughing I'll do it right I here at the door. Love to do you know what I mean? 14, right? He would love to be in yeah, my position, yeah. you know? So after that, I just like started realizing, like, damn, you know what? I do have a chance. I, I shouldn't feel sorry for myself. And then as sooner, slowly but surely, the years went by, mm -hmm. and now here I am now. You know, yeah, yeah. discharge my pro number, have a beautiful wife, family. That's you know, up. everything, a job, everything I could have. I mean, don't get me wrong, I got problems too. You know, yeah, we all ain't do. nothing's perfect. Yeah, if the world was perfect, then it'd be boring. Yeah, it would suck. We'd be robots. It wouldn't yeah. be real. You know. Yeah. But you know. I rather I rather be out here than in there, you know. Yeah, for sure. Waiting waiting on three meals and waiting on a letter from whoever or mm. anything like that or them telling me when I have to go to sleep or what. Yeah. You know that that that's that's for, for birds, nobody. Like you said. Yeah, that's for the birds and and then the 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 hardest the hardest essay the hard the hardest G will tell you that that shit is foul that that shit ain't for that they will change their life mm. and if they say no. They, then they're then they're lying to themselves because they've told me they've told me it so many times, you know. Oh, a colony is coming, but it's from Venus. And if you're still alive, I think you'll see how we differ. And I agree with you about what they call music. Why don't you I'm at a crossroads every damn day Looking back in my past when I sleep But living on the edge now I'm doing enough Iniquity down to my feet What do I do when I need a little food And I gotta get the money for the rent Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord Come on son, he can give me some money, repent What, what, thank you I really love you baby so I spank you 
life is a well straight fucking you up Living in a prison, I'ma shame you uh, uh. So what's love got to do when you win it with my heart on my sleeve, I'm a foe But she said she loved me, she wanted to hug me under my sheets, so it's getting told I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gonna be okay while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay Yeah What are the chances? You're picking a flight, we're leaving tonight Pack up your bags, we're leaving this place and this baggage Cause what can we do? While Rome is collapsing but not in a day, we'll be okay The tip of your mouth, you're Jackson I'll pull up the map then Cause I'm through keeping up with these Joneses Don't care what they're posting You know, you only see what they show you Let's fall off the grid then Cause we don't owe nothing to no one Darling, just listen, it'll be Just like starting over I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on What you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gonna be okay while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay I don't even know why I'm here Wanna be on a beach somewhere Feet kicked up in my chair Smoke all up in the air Clouds are looking lovely My girl is by my side My gun is by my side But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear Till it's only you wishing someone cared Filling out the window, is anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? And since God wanna play these fucking games I'ma take it there Bang, bang And I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gonna be okay while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay let me slide on in like I hit a home run Bottom of the night, I get the job done Celebrating life, I've bottles like I wanna Pour some out for the homies, I'm on ya Reminisce, swing your memory Every time I blaze a tree, voices in my head Keep on urging me, tell them about the story Hate the game from the hood All about the paper, many years misunderstood Thinking I could one day make it on the big stage Amazed at what I say, metaphorical wordplay Fucking up your frequency Got you moving and grooving to a kind of time of state Nah, I'm gonna stay high, chilling, embracing the vibe Taking you on a ride and listening to better night As long as you recognize the eyes in the sky I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay me ask you a question when you were locked up all those years how many homies came to visit you none none not one there it is <laughs> my grandma who's 94 crazy. year old came to visit me Wow, dog. my grandma you know yeah. she came to visit me when i was in the hole through a window mm. through a glass window that broke her heart because she couldn't even touch me she's like why do those other guys get to touch their family but she can't mm. oh because i'm an asshole because i had to follow protocol and you get with the business you know yeah. and, and you know yeah so, you know, how do you explain that to a 90, to uh, at that time to an 80 or something, you know, you can't, yeah, you know? Yeah. All she knows is, is that you're already in trouble and then you're getting in more trouble, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're and not you learning. To, and then you're like, you have to, that's when you have to just like look at yourself and then be like, you know what, is this what I want? Or mm -hmm. do I, you know, want to get out of here and, and, and have a family yeah. and have a life? Yeah. Because I tell you, I'd rather wake up to what I wake up to than, than to wake up to some dude. Man, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, homie. Yeah. What, what got you in the hole? I'm just curious. Well, one, the first one was a riot with the cops. Okay. And I was fortunate because that could have got me a whole life sentence. Mm -hmm. Anytime you, anytime that anything happens with the cops, mm -hmm. a staff assault, mm -hmm. they ain't playing. Uh, they take they, it up a notch. Yeah, they could care less if, yeah. if a black and a Mexican kill each other in there or a Mexican and a Mexican kill each other in there. Mm -hmm. They could care less. But when it, when it comes to 
staff, yeah, a nursing or a CEO or whatever kind of staff, that's when it's they all like, no. Yeah. You, you see how it is in the streets. Mm -hmm. A guy that shoots a cop in the streets, he's looking at the death penalty, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah. when a cop shoots a... Say like Brianna Taylor. Yeah. Oh yeah, they get out. They, they just get a, got you know, out. They the, just yeah. Uh, uh, um, yeah. Some boo boo charge. They ends up, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm out to a hill of beans. That, I, that I, one. I, fucked I don't know me. what's more disgusting. That one or uh, the girl from Texas, that killed. I you know that he was like an African, like uh, uh, um, mm. he was just in his couch eating ice cream. Oh yeah. And yeah, she yeah, went into yeah, it. Yeah, she yeah. went into his room and just yeah. Accidentally went to the wrong room and shot yep. him. Yeah. She was a cop, right? She was getting yeah. off of work or something like yeah, that. Yeah. She was. She walked into the wrong apartment, didn't she, or something? And then shot him. Yeah, man. I just said she was in the. Right. She went to the wrong floor. Right, the wrong you know, floor or it, something like that. It's just like, it's just, yeah. it's just way out. And, and it's kind of funny, it's like I said, like, a lot of us gang members that mm -hmm. did all this time, people like Trump and everything. No, I'm not going to say Trump, but just a lot of politicians mm -hmm. label us like we're idiots. Mm -hmm. We're in there studying half the time. Yeah. A lot of us are smart that we did all this time. Yeah, we made mistakes when we were gang banging at 16, 17, 18. Mm -hmm. But after all these times, when we got in 10, 20 years to do, what are we doing in there? We're watching You're the learning. news every day. You're education. We're reading books. Yeah. We're doing all that. We're learning. And now we're actually sober watching all the crazy shit that's going out on here. Yeah. And we're just like, fuck, it yeah. is, it's fucked up out here, you know? Yeah. yeah. And, 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 I'm, and I'm not even going to label any, any politician because I feel like they all do something different on their own. They all have their own little agendas. That's right. the way I see it. Exactly. You know? So if I start saying one to the next, then I would be hypocritical because. Like I said, they, they the all, other ones are. They, they, all, they, have all, to, they all have their own agenda. And they right? all have to please their their their, their party or mm -hmm. to what they is to get reelected and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you know? and they're all in it for votes, period. You know what I'm saying? Line. Republican, Dem Democrat, they're Bottom line, all know? in it for your vote, my vote, his vote. Right. So they'll say whatever they can, right. you know what I'm saying, to get that vote. And then some are damned and didn't, some are damned if yeah. they do and some are they don't. It is what it is. You yeah, know? yeah. For us to recognize that our nations have worked together for security and peace and human dignity around the world. In Paris, the most ambitious agreement in history to fight climate change, a new sustainable development set of goals to end extreme poverty, to the American companies to promote health sparking and a fierce debate across this country tonight. For all people. A business in Wisconsin implanting microchips in its employees in the skin of their hands. So what are they tracking and will you say yes if you're the boss? Just give me a little bit of peace a Steady job and some food to eat I had to rush out of my bed Cause I was late for work My motherfucking rent is due And my boss is a jerk Pencil pushing at the job An intermediate clerk My mama told me to go to school I'm going bananas berserk I work every day Don't know where the money goes My girl is big and pregnant Want me to paint her toes Only a high school diploma I'm smelling the aroma The greenery is burning in my room but life is a mama sita. She glad to meet ya. She bad coming soon. <laughs> Better get the broom, my nigga. You clean up your house. She got a little more time to back out, cause she ain't your spouse. But do I love her? I need her. Maybe respect how I treat her. But when I see my baby, I'ma wanna go and feed her. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food. I was born in a space and time where people were stupid Everybody looking for love, fucking with Cupid Who did whatever they wanted to do with black fist up Stand to opposition, keeping Hennessy in a cup Drink, nigga tell me what you think about God The Bible is written by man, so people think of a side Form your own opinion before you listen to white men The system has got you on American bandstand And when you get home, you gotta look in the mirror Take off all the makeup and the wig is more clear I fear a day when I can't smoke my weed I drink my drink my nigga you know what I need but success is a motherfucker shoes to feel I got a baby at home I need them big time deals this shit just got real it's going down tonight somebody gonna get jack hope they don't put up a fight just give me a little bit of peace steady job and some food to eat just give me a little bit of peace Peace. Steady job and some food to eat. 
five, just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Blow that smoke right out your lungs. You go to church every Friday. Now you're speaking in tongues. You gave up chilling with friends. Pastor got a bend. Repenting on your knees. Confessing all your sins to the end. How far will it go? Why you naked, boy? He eating all your candy. Tasting your almond joy. Troy, I can help you. Let me take you to outer space. If you're looking for God, meditate to the perfect place. Race, we moving at the speed of light. Traveling fast through a black hole into my day. And night. I'm trying to fight against the norm, my eyes are open, you see, cause I can only be me, not what you want me to be, classy, nigga born in the 77, daddy named Orlando, my name Kevin, Lucille, my mama, the girl true raised me, Kevin and Delilah, they having a baby, just give me a little bit of peace, steady job and some food to eat, just give me a little bit of peace, steady Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Watching uh, BG Knockout on Vlad TV. Oh, I don't I, know if you watch Vlad TV. Yeah, I, I, man, he, talk, he, talk to me. He talk was a shit back in the day. I remember okay. BG Knockout. Yeah. I mean, now he's old. I trip out because when I grew up watching him, he was like, I mean, that, he was a fool. You know, when he came up with that song, Real Motherfucking yeah. Cheese, it was just Classic, like, right? man, everybody knows that yeah. song. You know, Calm, that shit is shit. He'll just be known for that song forever. Yeah. But hey, that's good enough for him, I'm pretty sure, you know? Yeah. Well, he said something, um, and I asked uh, one of my homies about it, and I would love your opinion on yeah. it. But he said something on Vlad TV that got a lot of Latinos, you know, kind of upset. Uh-huh. But he did say that, um, and I want to kind of, uh, I'm not going to oh, quote it correctly. Oh, I think I know what you might be talking yeah, about. Yeah, he said, um, he mentioned that Mexican gang members are more likely to snitch on their enemies to uh-huh. get them arrested. Do you, do you think that's, that's true, or was he speaking out of place? That was way out. That kind of like, he kind of, he really disappointed me on that one because... I really like, you know, ever since he made that song, I'm like, damn, that's a G, you know, because mm-hmm. like, I understood he was young when he made that song, and he was going to ride with Easy because Easy gave him a chance, mm-hmm. right? And he and he did time. He did like 10 years. He was, I think, for Nutty Block, yeah, right? Did, yeah. So, he, you know, I was actually on the bus back in High Power years ago with his brother, uh, Dresta. Oh, okay. Years ago, I remember, because he told me, yeah, I'm Dresta G. And I remember because at the time we had the green light, so we were caged up, and I was in high power, and he was in high power, right? What's high power? Uh, high power is when you wear the oranges, okay. and you're K-10, like, you're keep away from everybody, you know? Oh, you're okay. just like... You're hang, too much of... You're, yeah, you're yeah. shackled from feet to toe, you know? Oh, okay. And yeah. uh, and his brother, Drasta, his mm-hmm. older brother, was on the bus with me. I'm like, man, and he was telling me, I go, yeah, blah, blah, your brother, you know, he's a shit, you know? And so anyways... So when I heard uh, on the Vlad and I seen that and I was just like, that's kind of way out because mm. some of us could say the same thing about the young black folks the mm. same way, right? Mm-hmm. And me personally, where I live, it's all Mexican gangs, you know. Mm. So I have no say on that. I can't say which way if blacks told if young blacks told or not, right? Because I'm not from Florence. I'm not from uh, 38th Street. I'm not from any of those um, Mexican gangs on the south side where there's black neighborhoods, mm-hmm. East Coast, all that. So I really didn't have either way. I could really comment on that because I don't know. I never battled with them. I never went at it with them. Mm-hmm. So I couldn't say if they did snitch or not, right? So, but when I heard him say that, I felt like, no, nah, that's far from it because if we snitch, it's over. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and I mean, Mexican, Mexican rules, I mean, Southern rules, Southern Hispanic rules are like, you might as well just join the damn army because of the Marines, because you got it's more easier to join the Navy SEALs than it is to be to be a a, a Mexican homie and uh, 
from California, you know, yeah. it's, it's just, they're so strict. There's, there's no snitching. You're not allowed to snitch on your enemies. Mm. There's no way. Because I guarantee you, say a Crip, homie, say, just say, for instance, if you're from uh, East Coast Crip mm -hmm. and I'm from Florence and you got paperwork on me, I guarantee you, if you send that paperwork to another homie from Florence in prison, mm -hmm. I mean, in county jail, mm -hmm. and he ignores it, it's going to be his ass, too. Oh, wow, okay. Because now he's condoning a rat. Mm. So I don't know where he was coming out with that hmm. because you don't do that. It doesn't matter that you guys hate each other or your enemies. It doesn't matter that, oh, well, I killed an enemy or he's my enemy. Well, F him anyways. They don't play that shit because mm. a snitch is a snitch, and it's not part of the game. It's either I get you or I don't get you, but we don't, we don't do that. You know, you don't cooperate. So I don't know where he came out mm, with that. that you, you don't do you don't do that kind of stuff, and it's just not right. For there's an example. Years ago, one of my homies was from it was from another Maravilla, and he, another Maravilla, one of my homies got stabbed up from another Maravilla, right? Mm -hmm. And we we're worst enemies. We we're going at it tough. We hated each other, but he had paperwork on our homie, mm. and we handled it. We still took care of it, even though it hurt us, because it's so embarrassing. That an enemy that we, yeah, all my tattoos are in prison. Oh, okay. How does that work when you get it, like when you get tatted in prison? Because well, isn't it a, it's illegal, obviously, well, right? Obviously, you know, it's like anything. It's like anything. Um, if you have respect and you know how to talk to people, mm -hmm. then you can get away with things. If you're an, uh, uh like a cop, a CEO, he, he's a human being, right? Mm -hmm. he, he just wants to go. Most for the most part, he just wants to go home to his family, right? Mm -hmm. He's there for a paycheck, right? And um, you could tell me, hey, man. Is it cool, out of respect, if I go to this guy's cell and get tatted up? Mm. He's either going to say yes or no. He's going to say, or oh, not today because there's the other bosses here, supervisors. Yeah, or there's somebody's not a regular, uh -huh. you know? So you, you're going to front me off and you'd be like, all right, cool. Mm. And that's how you get things done. Okay. You know? Or you get a Sally. If you get a Sally that you live with the tats, you could tat on you all day, you know? Okay. Just like anything else, you know? And then you got your ones that are assholes. They want to be like, Oh, that's fresh ink, you know, and like, you know, and it is what it is, you know. Mm. You, it just depends how you work it, and it's like, um, like me, all my tattoos, except for the ones on my head and my the big M's on my head and uh, the M's on my arms, all the all the drawings and everything, I got like at the last second, you know. Okay. I did all those years, but it was like, oh, I kept on procrastinating. I'll get them later down the line, get them mm. later down the line, and then before I knew it, I'm like, fuck, I'm already going home. <laughs> I got months to the house, so that was kind of a good thing yeah. to just get them all done, you know. When you let me guess, did you get the M's when you were really young on your head? Uh, not that, that young. I got them when I was already like 23. Okay. So I was in a Corcoran, uh, level four, and I had a Sally. He was uh, actually from uh, San Fernando Valley, mm -hmm. and he was like, uh, uh, he's like, I don't know how to do drawings or nothing. He goes, but I know how to do letters and stuff. He's all, you want me to hit your blast your head? And at that time, you're 23, and I still got like what 10 more years yeah, to go. Like, I'm like, it. I'm representing, yeah. you know, I'm from where I'm from, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I said, fuck it, and, you know, get the eye buster, you know. What's eye buster? Like, eye buster, like, you know, like, it's just, like, it busts your eyes. It's big. You, oh, you okay. can't miss it. Gotcha, got gotcha. dope. Yeah, yeah. And it was funny, too, because I had just got that tattoo, and uh, my grandma came to see me that same weekend, right? And I was already going to be like, she's going to scold my ass. <laughs> and she didn't even notice it. <laughs> so it's big. And, you know, That's when hilarious. you barely get a tattoo, it's really fresh. Yeah, and it's all yeah. dark. And I and actually, my cousin brought her. My cousin, my cousin April, who actually lived in Fresno. She lives in Fresno. So she was actually Brian. She's looking at me, shaking her head, like pointing at me, <laughs> and I'm like, Shh, like grandma, grandma didn't even, shit, you know, man. grandma just so happy to see me, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. It was so funny because my grandma would come to see me, and uh, the homies would bring her, and like, so the home, a lot of these homies, they have their girlfriends, you know, or whatever, their wives, right? Mm -hmm. And they're all young, and here's my grandma, eighty something, uh -huh. and she's with all these cholas bringing <laughs> their, going to see their old man, you know. Yeah. And but they love her because she's making she's Dope. making burritos for all of them early in the morning. Nice. And then they're you know they they're just like don't worry about grandmas we got her we'll take her home we'll make sure That's she gets up. home safe and everything. But yeah. they always want her to, they always wanted my grandma to come because she would make them burritos <laughs> in the morning you know. Nice. Shout out to grandma, man. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, I love her. You know, that's God dope, you, you know? That's dope. 94, man. That's she, she lived the life, yeah, huh? Yeah, you know. That's why I say she lived. To, when I got, you know, I was kind of pissed when I got to 14 years. I was like, I ain't going to see my grandma. She ain't going to. I mean, it's just being realistic. You, you thought know? she wouldn't make it. Man, fuck, she, she made, made it. it yeah. She made it to see me. Yeah, that's you dope, know, I was just like, fuck, yeah. that was a blessing. All those damn the prayers. Prayers are strong. People be like, nah, prayers are for reals because 
she prays every day the rosary, you know, and Damn. it's like, nah, there was something still because happened. how could she still be there, you know? That's what's up, man. Yeah. Well, shit, little train, man. It's always a pleasure, homeboy. Um, yeah. love to have you back sometime, man. Good luck on any, everything you do, and I encourage everybody to check out his other interview on Street TV uh, with my boy Alonzo. Thank you so much for the treats yeah my yeah don't, when don't, i get home i'm gonna have a i'm gonna have a few and it's gonna yeah try not to drive not to no to that's why because i have to drive and by the time i drive yeah. it'll kick in and that'll yeah. just be my luck and i'll be pulled over and yeah. it would suck and i ain't trying to go to jail yeah, for yeah, one night fuck that shit um awesome. Awesome <laughs> yeah, yeah man. man this is this is a cool setup man it's, well if you didn't have if you didn't have the family with you i would you know invite you to stay for you know the whole couple yeah, of hours know. i'll be here but i know you have them oh, another, so another time yeah so dre if you don't mind putting some music on man we'll take a little break and i want to thank you once again for joining the show we're going to take a little break and we're going to continue i'm actually going to step out use the restroom myself grab another brew That's dusty so. vision radio super audio network we'll be right back See the city bus. She don't want to ride the city bus. Because she's new to the town, I advise Look for truth, the ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud, dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash, I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up, I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me he saw the other day with the baby ain't life crazy i think about it once in a while when it's cloudy outside and the sun goes none of these drugs do what they supposed to yeah and what's the point of hurting people that you're close to yeah most of my life i've been following stars knowing i ain't really had to go that far come to find out is the truth i already know yeah I'm spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blame instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to baby, that's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in the jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning Won't remember shit, I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out is the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, set, go, go. Put your seatbelt on, up and away, we bout to go. We bout the to road go. is gon' get windy, promise not to lose control. Yeah. The final destination's bound to captivate your soul. And so, many MCs inspired to be one of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC. Then the law came life, now get dreams deferred. All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur. My ponders, contemplating the worst. Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched. That's a bitch. Paying dues upon dues. Keep on telling yourself I'ma make it Others believe in you too And it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out is the truth I already know Yeah